Okay guys, so day number four of social distancing. Um, it's the 26th of March. Um, we call it social distancing, but we should be changing that name to personal distancing, because that's what you're doing. You're personally distancing yourself away from anybody else um, who's not in your family or your, your house space. Um, I've actually been asked to play a song. So I'm gonna do that. Um, here we go. Some feedback that I could possibly do with using a filter to make me look better. What about this one? <laughs> Ow. Okay, guys, hope you liked it. Um, on the screen is our um, character education that we normally do on a Thursday, so here we are. Um, it's the importance of feedback. Now, I'd like your feedback in the comments. Put them there. Um, I think it's very important to have a feedback loop where you're constantly thinking about what you've done and how you could be doing it better. Elon Musk um, said that. So he's getting the feedback, he's getting the stuff back that he needs to know. Obviously, I've got that as well. Oh, I've got somebody I'm nearly tripping over. Who's here? Wants to get on film. Morning, Beryl. Say hi. Hello. Okay, so good feedback is actionable. So actionable information about a person's performance that they can use to improve. So it's something I can action, and no, I'm not gonna stop doing these, if that's what you're gonna put, because that's not feedback. Actionable, so you need to tell someone, tell someone, well, you need to tell someone what steps they need to take to get better. Um, and it has to be something relevant and something they can act on. So it's something relevant, something I can act on. Maybe I need to sort my cards out or something, I don't know. Um, key points to remember, feedback must have specific steps to follow. Um, feedback must focus on improving something. So you're not putting anybody down, you're focusing on how things can be improved in feedback. Um, that's the best way. So you've still got your planners somewhere about, dust them off. Um, write a list of as many things that should stop you accepting good quality feedback. Try to get at least five things on your list and use the heading feedback blockers. Feedback. Blockers. Um, do it now. Pause the video. No, really, pause it. Okay. How did you get? There are lots of things that block good feedback. Being too busy, I can't be bothered. Um, unwillingness to learn from feedback and improve. Helplessness. Feeling that the feedback is pointless. Uh, I'm already perfect. Um, yes, um, not understanding how important feedback is. Now, currently we might not understand how important feedback is. Um, I think Beryl's feeding me back that she wants to go and lay in that sun, so I'm going to put her down that I go and lay in the sun. 
There you go, Beryl. Um, not understanding how to give or receive feedback well. Some people really struggle with that. Um, lack of trust between people discussing the feedback. Do you trust the person who's giving you feedback? Uh, being defensive around feedback uh, and fear of failure, rejection or embarrassment are all things that could happen. Um, so you may want to give me feedback because once again, I'm teaching in my socks and they are spine my socks. Chat bro. <coughs> Look. I'm spine my socks. She So in your planner, write a list of many things that help you accept good quality feedback. Try to get at least five things. Pause the video now. Things for good feedback. The feedback is given by an expert. Expert in the field. Um, it doesn't have to be, but it does help if your feedback is given by an expert. Uh, feedback takes place in a safe, quiet space. You're not just shouting it out while loads of people are there. You're not just doing that. Um, that you keep an open mind, put any doubts aside, agree to respect each other. Uh, feedback is given in a way that suits the person receiving the feedback, verbal, written, shown, however they like to receive that feedback. The feedback contains steps that the person can do to improve and they are able to act upon them. Ask questions to make sure you fully understand, ensure any feedback you are receiving and what you need to do next. Um, and be committed to show grit and determination to get better and better. Grit. We all need that, especially at times like this. Better and better. Right, everyone is an expert in something. Um, I'm not sure I've, I've decided what I'm an expert in yet, but I'm probably an expert in something. Uh, we all have knowledge that we can share to help other people improve in school. This may come through during peer feedback so maybe by um, talking to each other it says here power is gained by sharing knowledge not hoarding it remember that okay so you've got a task on there um, exactly leading examples of peer feedback have a go at that um, and we should be able to put some things in our wild planner uh, your target in the center needs to be smart so specific, does it focus on detail to be able to do 50 push-ups at once, for example? Measurable, can you show whether you've achieved it or not? You need to be able to measure your targets. If not, it's no point in doing them. Um, achievable, a target that is possible. I'm not going to be able to do a million press-ups. Well, not today, it might take me a couple of days. Um, realistic, you have to, have the resources needed. Uh, for example, I am not going to be able to drive a Lamborghini Diablo because I don't have one um, yet. Time based, it can be achieved by the end of term. So you've got to be able to do this before the end of term. So have a look at your wild planner. Um, you've included the relevant small steps that you need to get to where you're from, where you are now to achieve your goal. Uh, these need to have a deadline attached and reviewed regularly. And you have really thought about your why. Why are you doing it? It may be that you get up every morning, your wild wild planner, and that you're coming down to watch this. The reason why this target is important to you is the biggest step. You need to make sure that it's important to you. It's not something that's important to me or um, somebody at home. It's important to you and that's why it's your target. That's why you're doing it. Okay, so your task is, um, there's a wild planner on there. Can you explain to somebody at home why that is not very good? That's what your task is for today. Um, there is no failure, only feedback. I think it's very important to have a feedback loop where you're constantly thinking about what you've done and how it could be, how you could be doing it better. That's Elon Musk again. Keeps coming up and that's because he keeps failing and reintroducing himself and getting better and better each time. Um, okay, have a good day guys. Um, see you tomorrow. Don't forget if you want a song, let me know. I've got a couple of others lined up though.